Let's talk about MeBits, the new project by the guys who made CryptoPunks. Welcome back Creative Heroes, it's Tom and Michael here. And the very first thing that I like to really really share today with you guys is how happy I am that the community about Creatorholics and the people who love creating and are just in the creation mindset every day, every second even when we are all sleeping right so yeah the community here on this channel is growing and i'm really really happy for that so welcome again and let's dive into me bits we can immediately see that there has been a change a shift from 2d sort of canvas to the 3d space so those characters are actually 3d models that you can buy trade get and then use them in any of those meta worlds that will exist in the future. So imagine that instead of you know having just a random character in let's say a meta world that is, for example, the Decentraland, uh, where um, you know people already hang out by the properties and parcels already for you know Ethereum and sort of getting all those NFT traded um, so yeah imagine that you might also import this character into the space and the world in the future which will be definitely great and this is definitely a step that will move the nft sort of forward i think because you know um we can definitely see that uh, those, those crypto punks are more like an r that you can collect but these characters are actually um, in a way also usable in the future sort of worlds and projects upcoming in the NFT world. Not surprisingly were those characters again generated by some algorithm so um, you know they were able to make 20,000 of those characters. Those characters are originally only sort of being mintable by the people who already own a uh, CryptoPunk or also um, the other NFT project by Larva Labs, which are the glyphs or they call them alpha glyphs actually. Um, so when people have those tokens, either a CryptoPunk or those uh, alpha glyphs, they were able to get also one of those me bits. The design style that they are being made in is actually really similar to yes minecraft yes so in minecraft we have all those you know cubes and everything just based on those cubes which are called in the 3d space voxels you know in 2d space or 2d canvas we have pixels and in here we have voxels so what they did were just really clever you know using algorithms algorithms <laughs> uh, to generate characters like this and uh, i will definitely be looking in the future into those algorithms and we will try to actually generate those characters by ourselves so really really um sort of you know stay out there and don't leave the channel because we will definitely look into something such as interesting as uh, creating me bits by ourselves what is also quite new in this new project is that you can trade me bits for another me bits for actually free there is no gas fee as with CryptoPunk so I think that also reduced a lot of friction you know for people to just trade those uh, characters in the marketplace you might be wondering how much those characters cost now on the marketplace you can buy a MeBit for just one Ethereum which is actually not really just one because we all know how much money it is right now when the ethereum just went crazy all the way to the moon uh yes anyway uh but we also have the other extreme and guess how much it is it is 2888 ethereum right now when i'm recording this video there is this you know unique me bit that costs approximately 11 million dollars so why not just buy it right <laughs> before diving into creating our own mebit in blender 
I need to get something first, so... Damn. Ah. Well, I want my love, but not this one. Let's try it again. Ah, this is my love. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's add a cube. And this is how it looks after rendering. Really simple. We are almost done. Trust me. This cube is gonna be the head of our Mi bit, but it's too big for our scene. So let's make it half of the size. Go to the edit mode and scale it down. This is the camera scene that shows us what's gonna be on the render. Right now, the big is way too low. So let's move it up. The head is down, now let's make the body. Let's copy the cube and move it down. Let's go to edit mode and scale it down so it fits the body size. So what I'm gonna do is pressing the S and then Y so we can reduce the size in this X. I'll press Ctrl and reduce it by one step like this. And this is how it looks right now. We can see that the body is way too fat right and army bits are actually quite thin so i'll press s for scaling again then press x so we can just move in this axis and then type 0.3 and press enter and now the basic body is done let's see how it looks in the render hopefully your imagination is really good so you can see that the me bit is getting born in here it's time to make pants of our me bit so let's copy the body and move it down in order to do that i'll press the combination of shift d then press y and move it down because the pants are a little bit shorter than the body let's go to edit mode and scale it down in the y axis by around 0.7 right now we have to cut the middle part of the pants because this is not a skirt so in the edit mode i'm gonna make a cut by ctrl r and then with my wheel on my mouse i will increase the number of the cuts so right now we want four cuts of our pants in the vertical lines this is how it looks we can see that the cube got divided into four parts Next, we have to make the horizontal cuts. So let's press the Ctrl R again and increase the number of our cuts to four. And we are ready to make our pants. So let's select the faces over here and start deleting the faces. In order to fix those holes, I'll get the edges over here and now I will pick the ones that I want to be fixed. So let's select those and then press F. Okay, I do the same for the middle part of our pants. Voila! And the last hole. So we are done with cutting the middle part for the pants. Next thing we have to do is making the whole pants less wide. So let's press the S and scale it in the axis. So let's select everything by pressing A and scale it down by the factor of 0.7. Obviously our pants have to be connected to the body, so let's move it up and we'll also move it to the front. Because our Mibes are super real looking, we also have to add their butts. So let's select the faces of the pants from the behind and extrude it so it will make our butt really nice and beautiful. And let's have a look how it looks on the render. Let's finish the legs of our Mi bit. So we will copy the pants and we'll delete the upper part of it. So I just switched to the X-ray vision. So I will now select the vertices, all the ones here on the top and delete it. And scale it down in the Y axis by the factor of 0.7 and move it up. The rest of the legs are done. Now let's make the shoes. So I'll copy the rest of the legs that we made from before. Shift D again. <laughs> we can see that it's probably way too high for the shoes. So let's scale it down again by pressing S, then Y and drag it down. I will also fill the top hole in here as we did before. 
And now let's move everything up so it will be connected to our legs. To make our shoes, let's select the two faces down here and extrude it by the factor of 0 0.3. Then we'll select the second layer over here and extrude it by the factor of 0 0.1. Because our Mi bits were only good quality shoes, we have to make the sole of our shoes thicker. So let's select the faces down in here and extrude it by 0 0.035 and let's see it on the render our me bit right now is obviously missing what yes hands and arms so let's do it so i'm gonna select the body and copy it by around 0 0.25 then we will scale it down in x-axis by the factor of 0 0.7 as with the legs and now let's attach it to the body me bits and human beings actually have two hands so let's copy this one drag it to the other side and rotate in the z axis by 180 degrees and let's see how it looks on the render because our me bit is a badass he will wear a t-shirt so we have to create the neck hole in here so let's do that so select the body and go to the edit mode. Now we will make the cutting, so press the Ctrl R and increase the number of the cuts. We will do the same in the horizontal lines and also here on the sides. You are very right with your thought process. Of course, now we have to select the faces and start deleting the faces over here. So we'll get the neck as the head of our me bit is really big i will now turn it off so we won't be seeing it and let's fill the hole here we are using the same technique as with the pen so we'll just select the edges and then press f and now of course we have to add the neck so let's add a cube scale it down and we're gonna resize it until we get the size of the hole in our t-shirt now let's turn the head again and connect it with the neck. Let's see how it looks on the render. Okay, the truth is that their head is not as wide. So let's scale the head in the x-axis by the factor of 0.8. So the model is ready. The best part is right now because we gonna add the colors. So first let's add the skin colors to the parts of the body that we need. Doesn't that look cool? Now let's give him a colorful t-shirt and also some nice pants. I also want to add that white stripe on his short pants. So let's just make the cut. Now we'll select the faces also on the other side. Let's create a new material for that and add it away color and then click assign all right let's check how it looks on the render now let's add color to his shoes and the very last thing we are gonna do today is giving him the eyes and hair And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our final result. Please be honest, my friend. Does it look cool? It looks really bad. Uh-huh, so you don't think it's cool? Let me show you this. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about MeBits? Would you like to get one, buy one, or just maybe create one yourself in Blender as we just did? Because it's super easy right <laughs> uh, anyway thank you so much for watching i'm really really happy that you just spent some time here with me because you know being you know just a creator here or anywhere else by yourself is sometimes quite lonely but now with all of you guys out there i don't feel lonely anymore and I'm just really thrilled that there is such a community out there who wants to create, who are also, you know, you know, trying to learn new things as, as, uh, you know, as 
all the creators who are ambitious and really really love the craft with that little ending i would like to also ask you if uh, you can you know click the subscribe button again it's free and it would really help me a lot so thank you very much and Tang and of course my dear Michael R it's so sour but you gotta love this oh my god